I play Oren Scribolo. He's a dentist. I'm not dumb. Oh, shut up. Open wide. Here I Yes, and he's Audrey's abusive girlfriend before Keegan decides to lovingly kill me. I am Samara Follett. I'm a junior, um, and I'm playing Audrey in the show. Like Betty Crocker, and I look like Donna Reed. And yeah, I think it's somewhere that's green is just in an, it's a way of saying like a hope for a better life, a hope for a good future for herself and for the people that she wants in her future. Like she, she wants comfort and love, um, and she's just not getting it because she's in a very, very bad relationship. But yeah, she um, lives on Skid Row. She's in a horrible relationship with her dentist boyfriend. Um, she meets Seymour from her job at the florist shop and kind of like falls in love with him and wants to like be with him in somewhere that's green. Um, and so yeah, throughout the story, she's like kind of like navigating that. I play as Seymour. Uh, he's this nerdy, geeky kind of plant guy, and uh, he finds Audrey too and creates the whole plot of the show. Uh, my name is Ryan Hermson, and I'm playing Mr. Mushnik, the shop owner, and uh, he's Seymour's adopted father. He's kind of the comic relief, sort of. But he's also like the overprotective dad. So come kiss me quick, please don't make me sick. Mushnik and son. Boy! You know, and he's like just a, kind of a grumpy old man. Uh, I am Audrey too, the voice of it at least. And again, what? <laughs> he's a very, uh, mean individual. He's very manipulative, very evil, and very funny, I like to think. Audrey, too, is, wants to take over all of planet Earth. Oh, it's very fun. I have a, um, I have a microphone. It's connected um, to a wire that goes backstage, and there's a tiny slit in the um, fake glass for Mushnik's flower shop, and I see right through that into the orchestra pit. And I just have good sight lines to the plant as well, so I know when to speak. So at the beginning, I'm the narrator, so I basically go out and give the plot of the show. And it's great, and I'm also the plant for the small one, the medium-sized one, and the huge one that you see at like the end of the show. Like, I am the puppeteer for the plant. And it's kind of, it's really cool, because you like gotta embody the plant. You gotta feel the plant, if you know what I mean. Uh, my name's Albany Tobin, and I'm the prop manager. I also help out with the set crew, um, and I help when they have questions about their cues or about any props that need moved. So we're gonna do a tour of the set. Um, right over here is where we keep most of the props. And then if you follow me up through these curtains, we've got the main shop where everything goes on and happens. This is the shop. It does get changed with our, uh, within the show. We bring on props, uh, tables, we change vines, flowers come in and out. Um, we even put on paneling that cover up the holes in the wall. We have four plants. Two of them are handheld puppets and two of them are operated by our lovely puppeteer, Devin. Um, this hole right here is actually where are victims of the plant exit when they are killed off by the last two puppets. This is where our amazing voice actress for Audrey 2 stands so that he can see the orchestra and the pit and Miss Thorpe. Um, if we go around up front, we'll see Skid Row where the doo stand and the front of the flower shop. We also see our lovely set managers, their stations and some other props and some other set crew. Um, got the front of the shop, Moose Nick's flower shop, we love to see it. Our lovely opening sign. And we actually, as a crew, got to color on the bricks to make it more um, realistic. And then down there is our skid row. We can go over there real quick. This year is really cool because 
we get a full pit, um, a live pit actually. We have a full band. We have like a guy that plays four guitars, I think, which I think is really cool. Um, but this is where our lovely doo-wop stand. Um, it's really fun. And it's a really cool set this year. It's a lot smaller than some of the sets we've done, but overall, I think this has been a fun set to move around on. It was fun to build.